Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry I haven't really been doing much. Been a little bit sick and some crazy weather going on in Melbourne. Haven't been driving the Forester at all. I'm too afraid that it's going to blow up on me. Something's going to happen. So what we're going to do is a leak down test. There's a massive spider web on the microphone. <clears throat> so see if my dad's got some tools for that. I know he's got a compression test there, but we need to leak down so we can actually put pressure into it so we don't have to start the engine. And I think the easiest thing to do with the Subaru, especially the Forester, is to actually get the engine out. Um, we we'll have to do a timing belt anyway, so it's going to be easiest, I guess. Let's do it. Oh, look how dirty she is. Maybe I was over exaggerating about getting the engine out to do the, the test, but I am thinking of ditching the low mount. Just having the GT35 up the top for now. Maybe thinking of a high mount compound setup so I don't have to deal with the whole oiling, you know, scavenger pump, and everything being so low to the ground as well. Wouldn't mind dropping the Forester a little bit lower, so I don't want anything too low, so yeah. Alright guys, what I'm going to do, take off the bumper, grill, check it up, and see how we go at getting to the spark plugs from underneath the car when the engine's still in. After that, I'm going to have a look for the tester. We cannot find one. I believe super cheap sell one for about 40 bucks. I might head down there and grab one. Okay, I think we can get in there with a compression tester or... Alright guys, just thought I'd let you know the TDO4 rebuild didn't go very well. Um, when I went for a drive a couple of days ago, it wasn't really making boost. Uh, it didn't sound good, it sounded like it was leaking. So, I'm going to ditch that TDO4 um, to get to this side for the tests. I'm going to have to take it off, so I'll take it off and leave it off. Um, yeah. Feels like I'm going around and around in circles. Hey guys, my dad has a compression tester, so let's see if this will fit in uh, while the engine's still in. So we're going to go from underneath, go for the first cylinder here. Alright guys, it's pretty hard to uh, get a compression test while the engine is in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the exhaust manifold off. The exhaust manifold has to come off when I take the engine out. Kind of. Um, I'm just going to look to see if I can physically see anything with the exhaust valves um, in the head because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like an exhaust valve. So I'm just going to have a little peek. Okay, guys, manifold is off. I'm going to have to get a light. We can uh, we'll get these gaskets off. Have a little peek in there. I don't really see much, guys. I'm gonna have to have a look. Alright, guys, been a bit slack today. I'm gonna end it here. The engine is going to come out, and I will get it out next episode, so stay tuned. Just uh, not feeling 100% at the moment. So, 
stay tuned for the next episode. Bye.